Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Avery Lefebvre, and this is Top Fives, the only weekly top five show in snowboarding. So if you need a top five fix, here you go. This week's top five, the top five types of snowboards you need to own. Number five, a rock board. This should just be general, general basic knowledge, but during a live stream, someone actually asked me what board they should buy for the preseason. You shouldn't buy one. You should use one of your old ones and hit rocks with it. Or if you are going to buy one, just buy a used old one from like Craigslist or eBay or some bullshit. Basically, no new boards. Rock boards. You, something you do not give a fuck if you jib rocks. Because I, I jib rocks. I mean, look, look at look at my rock board right there. That thing's just angry looking. It's got like prongs on the front. It's missing like a section of edge like this. You think I give a shit if I hit anything with it? No, I don't at all, and neither should you. Number four, a powder board. See, it's way up on the list because not everyone gets to ride powder, so it's a little bit more specialized, and not everyone will actually buy one of these. But if you have the chance to buy one and you do ride powder, you should get one. It makes the most sense. It's like having the right tool for the right job. Yeah, a ball-peen hammer will work, but it isn't going to remove any nails when you fuck that up, now is it? And that's where a claw hammer comes in. That's what a powder board is. It's a utilitarian tool for the right job. So, if you can afford one, get one. Number three, a party board. What is a party board? Well, a party board is something you go party boarding on. You're crushing beers with the boys in the parking lot and slashing slush in the spring. You might even ride a little bit of pow with it, and if you're really ballsy, you'll take it out on the preseason just to spray skiers. That's what a party board is. Not everyone's going to get a party board, and that's okay. They don't know what party boarding is, but I love party boarding. That's the Night Nidecker Mosquito right there. That's a party board. It's also a pow board. It's also a volume shifted pow board. Kind of a gray area on what it is. It's kind of androgynous, if you will. You know, it's like you're at the bar and you're looking at it going, is that a chick or a dude? You don't really know. That's what a party board is. So, party board. You definitely want one. You might not need one, but they're always fun to have, and it's something you're going to have for multiple seasons. Number two is actually a tie. This is a rare thing on the show, but it's my show, and I can do whatever the fuck I want. So we're going to give it a tie. So you either need a full-blown freestyle board or a full-blown free ride board. And it kind of just depends on what type of rider you are. I mean, obviously, if you're charging hard and free riding, you want a free ride board. If you're a little goddamn jib gypsy, you want a jib board. So there you go. Like, you need to pick one or the other and make it very specialized towards what you're doing. That is very key, very specialized. So if you're like a hardcore free rider, you want a hardcore free ride board. And if you're a hardcore jibber, you want a hardcore jib stick. That's what it is. You want to make sure that it's very specialized towards what you want. Honorable mentions. A split board, because you watched a Jeremy Jones video and you're going to go get epic lines. Now, I put this in the honorable mentions because so many people buy split boards and then they actually go and do it and realize it's uh, it's a lot of work and they're really lazy and they like riding flying couches to the top. So, yeah, there's that. Pow surfing. It's not quite snowboarding. It's not quite sledding. No one really knows what it is, but people like it for the novelty aspect so they can go ride some low angle pow when they can't make it to the resort or just fuck around on a golf course. And carving boards, because everyone suddenly thinks they need to be carving and they need a carving board. You can carve on just about anything, and most of you that claim you want to do hardcore carving really don't need a carving board. Like, if you did, you would just go buy a thousand dollar one that's custom made for you, but you won't. So you keep asking about boards to carve with, and then you're all hooked on the whole Karua thing going on over there, which is cool. Your need for turning is amazing. But still, you probably won't buy one, but you want one. And that's why it's an honorable mention. And the number one type of snowboard you need to buy, an all-mountain freestyle board. This is the Vegas category of snowboards. Is it a freestyle board? I don't know. Is it a free ride board? I don't know. Can you ride power with it? I don't know. You can pretty much just do anything with it. When a company doesn't know where to specifically put it in the spectrum of their lineup, it's an all-mountain board. It'll do everything. And this is where rad dad boards and bomb mom decks come into play. So this is the board for the person that's going to own one snowboard and one snowboard only. And that's why you need an all-mountain board. This has been Top Fives, and I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre. Do you agree with my list? Do you disagree? 
Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation on what types of snowboards people need to be buying. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you'd really like to support us and you really want to just see us grow out what we're doing over here, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP. I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I'll see you in another video.